Number six, how much work is done by the boy pulling his sister 30 meters in a wagon as shown in figure 7.35? Assume no friction acts on the wagon. So here we have our picture, right, right over here. And uh, the boy applies a force of 50 degrees, uh, excuse me, 50 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees relative to the horizontal. All right. And the wagon is going to move, as it says, 30 meters horizontally. So now how can we calculate the work? Well, first thing I'm thinking of is do I know a relationship between force and distance and work? And I do, right? It's right here. There it is. So the work on an object is equal to the force applied to that object multiplied by the distance it travels and then multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the force vector and the distance vector. Okay, so that angle in this picture is 30 degrees, right? It is 30 degrees uh, because the force vector is here, right? It's right this line, right, that arrow. And then in, what is that, purple, pink? I don't know. Well, this is purple. My God, I'm not that bad. Um, so it's here in like a pinkish red. And then the uh, distance here is going to be in purple. All right. So the angle between them is 30 degrees, as we just highlighted. So now I have enough information, right, in order to calculate. So the force that's applied is 50 newtons. The distance that's covered right, is 30 meters. And the angle between those two vectors is 30 degrees. So... Just simply plug in 50 times 30 times cosine of 30. And we get a value, oh, almost 1300, right? So uh, how many sig figs? It looks like we're gonna need two. Well, they told us 50 newtons, right? Yeah, so two sig figs, so it should be 1300. 1300, and that is in joules. All right, that's the work. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you in the next video. Take care.